Hey everybody, welcome back. So for today it's gonna be yet another Instagram look thing, whatever. This one is a bit of a trend that's been going around a lot on Instagram in like, I don't know, like the last quite a few months. Uh, it's the, the lightning look where you see all kinds of different like essentially cloud type things that people are putting on their faces and then having lightning bolts coming off of them. I've seen them where it's clouds over the eyes and then the lightning bolts are just coming down like tears. I've seen it where it's lightning bolts actually over the thing, you know, eyes, forehead, wherever. And so what I thought that I would do for today is that I would attempt to do my own version of the lightning look. And so my intent is that I am going to have one eye that I will have the cloud portion on. And so it'll start a little bit above the eyebrow and then cloud over part of the nose and then come down a little bit on my cheek and then I'll have the lightning bolt starting just above the eyebrow and then coming down in that cloud to sort of come just outside of it onto my cheek. But just the one side and then the other side I will attempt to do just a normal makeup look, really kind of boring. And so I figured I would go ahead and put my base of foundation, concealer, all of that, do my eyebrows off camera so that you guys don't have to labor with me through that portion at least, save you some time. And when I get back, then we'll go ahead and jump into the lightning portion and then finish up the little touches on the face. So I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. I look a bit like a pirate, <laughs> I think. So I did uh, one half of my face and I was just going for kind of a mediocre neutral smoky eye. So there's that. I don't know why I already put my lip on, but I did. So we're just gonna have to live with it. And I have you guys zoomed in so we can get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is the cloud and then we'll move into the lightning. Cue my awesome commentary. That was already super cringe, but here we go nonetheless. First shade of blue that I decided to kick this thing off with was from the Kaleidos Futurism 5 palette and it's the nondescript darker blue shade. So as we can see, I started off by creating just a really awesome circle around my eye because I decided to take my pirate comment seriously. Quick pause to admire my genius work. Then I very quickly remembered that clouds aren't just circles, and so I started to make the shape a little more abnormal. Then, to show my expertise in shading, I decided to reach into a slightly darker shade of blue, so I went with Sky from the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette. Then I decided to have another brief narcissistic moment before continuing on with yet another deeper shade of blue. And for this one, I used the shade Tempest from the Ofra palette, Francesca Tulo. Third time's a charm on checking out my skills before deciding that I should really expand upon this cloud and make it have even more points and edges, because that's what clouds have. As I continued on with my smurf look, in addition to adding more points, I figured what else couldn't hurt would be adding some more shading. So I decided to hit that tempest shade a little bit harder, you know, really get into the crevices, but not really adding it to anywhere where it makes any kind of sense. So when that level of shading didn't really do it for me, I decided to go back into the Ofra palette and grab the Oscuro shade, which is the deepest of the shades that they have in there because it's pitch black. And as we can see, that still really didn't make this any better. But I soldiered on nonetheless, because as Tim Gunn always says, make it work. Now I wish I could say that as we get into the lightning portion, that this was the interesting part, but it just wouldn't be me if that was the case. Nevertheless, here we are. I decided to use a like paintbrush type thing. I don't know. I guess eyeliner brush. And I used the NYX Professional Makeup Lid Lingerie Matte Eye Tint in the shade Bad to the Bone, also just known as white. Also, we can see that there's not really any rhyme or reason to how I'm drawing these lines. And at this point, it looks more like tree roots than actual lightning, but I'm giving it my best go, as we do here. I decided that the next best thing that we could do is to double down on all of the white lines by just adding a second and third and fourth and fifth coat to each of the lines to really make it stand out and pop. I paused for a brief fourth time to observe my completed work and realized that I may have been missing a line, so I quickly finished and fixed the error. I just had one final step left, which was to tightline my waterline, and for that I used the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Deep Blue. Okay, I'm not entirely certain what I am doing here. I think, um, 
Ugh, okay, just think I'm attempting to look at the camera in somewhat of an attractive manner. Um, failed that one, but I'm kind of at a loss, guys, as to what's going on. Feel a little weird, a little creeped out, uh, so I think we're going to stop that. Okay, well, the look is all done. I think of the Instagram looks that I have done thus far, that this one actually turned out the best, but it was also most definitely the simplest of all of the looks, given that there's like almost no detail involved besides just drawing somewhat jagged lines, which we all know that I can do that at least. So yeah, I, I think it turned out all right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this uh, somewhat of a tutorial, I suppose. Since it did turn out okay, I guess we could call it a tutorial rather than a makeup fail. But yeah, now I get to run around for the rest of the evening with an eye patch on my eye. I am a pirate. If you enjoyed this content, give me a thumbs up. I would love that. Let me know if you liked it. Uh, let me know if you would have chosen a different color or whatever. You know, uh, if you guys have a particular Instagram look that you really want me to try, more than happy to give it a go. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep randomly picking stuff from Instagram and have you guys watch me fail. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed it and just go have a good one.